Hi, welcome back. And if you're new here, I'm JPB the Legend. So today I got for you another knife it's from the Carry Commission. It's the Frontier First knife. So I finally decided to pick it up. You know, it's been a while since it came out, and I was just debating on getting it or not. Smaller knife, and it's only two and a quarter inch in length blade. I like a little bit of the longer blade, but I'm gonna check this out. Thought it looked cool, and shipping was very fast. I think I got it within two days or something. It's just I've been behind, a lot of packages, a lot of videos to make, so let's check it out. Well, this is a big box. Carry commission. Alright. Maybe we'll just skip this. Alright, so we got it open here. What does it say? Quality is in our name. LT right nine. Alright, that's your warning. Frontier first. AEB dash L flat Python Mat. Alright. Check it out. Oh. Carry Commission sticker here. Oh. Another Carry Commission sticker there. That's interesting. Alright, we'll start off with the knife here. Oh, look at that. Alright. Enough of that. Let's check this out. Caution sharp. Can't have enough cautions. Okay. Yeah, it got a little heft to it. Carry Commission logo here. It has a little LT right logo there. It's like a little shed. All right, this is pretty cool. Actually, the first time I saw this kind of reminded me of like a snake skin or something. So that was cool. Oh, we also got an L on the back there. Interesting, interesting. All right, that's pretty cool. Let's check this out. Oh, a nice sheath here. Look at that. Very cool. North. A little bit faded away. It didn't come out too well. I guess they put it on the leather. It didn't show up too well. Not sure what that says. Huh. Let's see how it fits in the sheet. Alright. Oh. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, a little bit sticking out. All right. Interesting, interesting. Very cool. Kind of small, but very cool nonetheless. All right. So I did a little bit of research. I was looking at it. A-E-B-L. I guess that's what the L in the back stands for. Some sort of Swedish steel. That is stainless steel. It's very interesting, I think. It's probably around 61 HRC. It's similar to a 12C27 and a 14C28N. So, should be fairly decent. Blade. Top part feels a little, little rough. Yeah, it looks like the blade is a little bit over two and a half inch. And see handle. Handle is almost three inch even. I guess here it starts off a bit bigger, so over half inch and then it gets a little tapered down to the from part of the handle and around half inch. So yeah, very interesting. Couldn't find the specs on the website, so thought I'd check it out for myself. 
Let's see how wide this is. So blade looks like definitely less than an inch. The blade at its widest point is about seven, seven eighths an inch. About the handle. Handle too has a, a nice little shape here, but yeah, it's definitely overall under an inch. All right, so the sheath looks like it's about six inch long. Far is wide. It's coming over a little bit, inch and a half. And then over here at the curve. As far as thickness. All right, as far as thickness, somewhere around half an inch. And then. When you add the leather strap for your belt or wherever you attach it to, it looks like about an inch. I forgot to mention the scales are micarta scales. The matte finish python micarta. Yes, I was right about the snake. Probably made in the US of A. So this knife also has a nickname of a big ass little knife. Yep, so I'm guessing this is probably a brass lanyard hole and brass pin. If you're liking these carry commission products, check out this bum bag that came out a while back. If not, check out this video here. Thanks for watching till the end.